I always say, play by Shroom. Forget about old sunsets. Let's move on to New Horizons. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bladewise versus Shroom. Ah, not too sure about the history of these guys. I'm sure they've played. They've definitely played at some point. They've got a, at some point in their decade-long melee careers. What I will say is that Shroom is obviously amazing against Peach. Like, amazing. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows that he came, you know, two hot breaths away from beating Armada. Couple, couple real warm ones. Well above body temperature. Beat Armada's Peach well enough that Armada was like, maybe I should use Fox. Yes, right. So... It makes sense, given the, the Peach practice that you get in NorCal. You got Kalamazoo, you got Azusa, you got Allen. All great players yeah. that Shroom has a ton of experience against. And you know, it, really, if you are at Shroom's level, one of the one of the things that you got to be gunning for is that Armada win. So you really have to be well-versed in this matchup if you're trying to make any sort of meaningful yeah, progress. Yeah, that's what you're Armada win's big. Absolutely. It's what it's, people want. It's the gatekeeper. It is the gatekeeper, I think. Hungry box, you know. <laughs> Professor Pro's got one. Oh, he throws a stitch right into the platform. Okay. Bladewise, still getting after all that all that hype we gave Shroom, Bladewise takes the first stock. Yeah. And is playing phenomenally. Oh, that was a cute little wave land in the back air. Bladewise also did pretty well last run back as two. I think he got top eight as well. He lost to Mets for seventh. Yeah, Mets has beaten him a couple of times actually. Yeah, Mets Again, obviously one. did not show up to this oh, tournament. Come Completely bailed. Bladewise is here though. He uh he's hanging around. He's that up roll, there. that roll was so not great. Bladewise covered it. Got some in an edge guard scenario. Oof. Jump around, up, smash. Got him with that. That's nice. Listen, I'm used to seeing Sherbert and Napkins, and they would have down smashed, and Shroom would have held in and got hit twice and lived. But it is refreshing to see a, a Petch use a move that's not down smash. Yeah, Bladewise knowing his stuff there. Bladewise, I've also seen do a couple up smash out of shield. So he gets a little wild. Yeah, he did, he did try that in the last set. He's not a basic. Um, can I finish that sentence, Carter? No, 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 no. Mute no. his mic, mute his no. mic, mute his, mic. Mute his mic. He'll do it. He will say it. Okay. Thank you, Carter. He We're muted back. Muted Blood. for that one portion. No one knows how that sentence is going to end. It's obviously so many different routes. Oh. That was cool. Every, I like that up tilt. That up tilt, I think, didn't work. may have been intentional. Usually it's a dash attack, but Patience. I can see the uh, utility there. Scooping up. That seemed like a mistake. It seems like he fell off the stage. All this seems like a mistake because he fell off the stage. Mistakes galore. Okay. Float cancel. And this match? Two. Going decently long. I mean, kind of what you expect from Sheik Peach. But we are about 3 minutes, 15 seconds yeah. into it. And there are still 4 stocks on the board. Coming down with Dare. But can't get anything out of it. Shroom, real good at SDI. And so I imagine any he's multi insane move, at that. he's going to be able to... He's insane at that. It's just a top player thing. but Yeah, absolutely. Shroom specifically, I've heard a lot about that. Meaty needles coming through. <laughs> Meaty, we have to stop using the term meaty, by the meaty. way, in melee. Why is that? Because in the FGC, it means something else. Oh, okay, okay. It means like a late hit. Oh, okay. Interesting. I mean, wave dash means something. And the only thing related, that we but... want and that that we're looking for in this world is respect from Arc Kappa. If I don't get that, I if swear, I this all has been for naught. If y'all don't post our best clips in this commentary out there. If that doesn't get 100 <laughs> and, and uploads. And get permabanned. <laughs> I'll quit. Okay, yeah. One down smash was better what? there. And it's Shroom. It is Shroom. Has Bladewise on the ropes. Okay. I like that. How's he, how's he gonna get off this ledge? He's not. Very, very slowly. <laughs> that, was, that was very slow. Seemed pretty free for that slap, and game one goes to Shroom. Yeah, that's a tough spot to be in, huh? Where do you go, FOD? Dreamland? Dreamland. That makes the sense. land. That makes sense. That makes sense. Do it for the land. 
do it for a real one. Ooh! How did that hit? The hitbox gets bigger, my man. I know. As the move goes on. That's crazy. But it was a... I can't name anything else that gets bigger as it goes on. Yeah, wow. drawing a blank. So, you know, Peach's down tilt just is a little bit longer. Two. A little bit. Two. 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 All right, Ooh. challenging the top platform here. That was cool. That was cool. Threw the turn up at a level where it would cover the entire platform and then just did an air below two. it so he yeah, couldn't shield two. drop. Jumping would have won, but I just don't think Shroom reacted in time. Oh, he's mashing so hard. Yeah, wow. Whoa, whoa. I guess he thought it was going to be a death sentence for sure. It wasn't. But that was a furious mash. Maybe it pressures the opponent to do a down throw, right? Because if you're mashing furiously, like... You're like, oh, man, he's... Yeah. Because you can't buffer a jab. But you're not going to be able to buffer, you know... You're not going to be able to get more than one or two. Yeah. When a guy's mashing that some, hard. Some people are pommelers. I'll tell you what. They'll do like four when their opponent's at 100, which is not supposed to work. Yeah. I think generally the rule is that you can do one every 50% you tack on safely. Um, you can usually get away with more, obviously, because not everyone's going to be a good smasher, much less a perfect smasher. It's important. Underrated aspect. I used to not do it because it was too much effort. That's dumb. Okay, wow, Shroom getting absolutely beat up. Bladewise is just on the edge, just beating up Shroom. Doesn't really seem like it's an insane battle of center stage between these two. Really? No, because it seems like they fight, like, they'll just fight on the left side. You know what I mean? Yeah, they'll just scrap over here. Like, it's not like, oh, come to center stage and scrap me. It's like, no, no, which, like... Which maybe Bladewise not using his counterpick to its full effect. By doing that, there's a lot of room to run around. You know, this is a dream plan. He's not super they say. turn up heavy. Two, two, no, not two, really. I haven't seen a lot. Two, 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 In fact, two, of all the blade wise sets I've come to, two, three lifetime, four maybe. Two, okay, okay, okay. I don't think I've ever seen him pull a turn up that's not a turn up. He's like you don't think he's sword. or or Saturn or a, yeah, exactly. He did two, two, game one, threw it right into the platform. So even when he does get it, oh, he did. Did he have a stitch or something? He did have a stitch. Oh my god, I didn't even know. Did you call it out? I did. Yeah, I probably listened. Listen, Lud. I probably listened. Listen. Yeah. I listen to you all the time. He missed, Lud. Like right there, I think. I might have pulled the turn. I don't know. Maybe not as imperative in this matchup as it is in like a Marth matchup or something. Right. He doesn't seem to be on that uh, knitting wave either. His double jump cancels Z drop. Yeah. Which wow. not many are. Good read. That's like the uh, four glory read. When you put someone in a tech scenario, you just yeah. run past them because uh -huh. you know they're rolling back because they're scared. I know I'm going to see Smash 4 dance game <laughs> after that one. Woo, that was smooth, but just went the wrong way. All right, down throw fair. Yeah, Dreamland is big. Way out there. Dreamland's like phenomenally big. Like, it, when you actually look at the picture of all the different stages in the map size of all of them, yeah. Dreamland is such a large outlier, as well as Yoshi's. And then all the other three are so similar. To the point yeah. where it's not even worth bringing up, almost. Yeah, the ceilings are remarkably similar. Like, people talk I mean, about Fountain's. how um, Fountain of Dreams is a little taller than Battlefield, but it's like almost Holy the exact same. Holy the ledge re-grab. That was impressive. That was impressive Nuts. each play. Giving himself a chance then. Oh, he's trying to crouch cancel uh, no. down smash there. Slides off instead. These guys are duking it out so hard on the left side of the stage. Yeah, this is their favorite. They spent half the game over here just fighting. I'm a left-handed boy myself, so now we now we move. Okay. Oh, yeah, this, yeah. It seems tough shroom, for shroom. Blade Wise to do anything. Really keep it wow, in this corner read. here. Wow. Oh. He wanted to dash check so bad. You can see him smirking a little bit. Once Blade Wise is on ledge, the game is just so hard at that point. It just seems hard, like, in general, against Sheik when you're Peach to come back because Peach is very trade heavy, right? Yeah. And, like, Sheik has so many fast moves. Lasting moves, moves with big hitboxes. For Bear specifically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh! What? 
Okay. <laughs> okay, he's dribbling with Duel it. Duel of Fates throws it out. Allen Iverson in this. All right. There's a ridiculous number of references right there. None of them <laughs> correlate with each other at all. Not a single all. one landing with the audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure oh try to my goodness. Fair himself like, out of that. He doesn't have a double jump. He's got to do something. I love the way that Bladewise is using the turn-ups this game. Or the beanswort. <laughs> yes. Specifically Match. that one. Why did you just up me? Maybe he lost the jump. Maybe I, didn't, I just might not have seen it. That's a shame. Ooh. Power shields the first one back into its friends. Great height. I can't believe he didn't get a punish, though. I can't believe he just didn't punish that with grab. What happened to you? That Whoa. was such a nasty tomahawk. Too. Teleports behind you, my man. <laughs> that, that, did that seem just kind of random, how he went in with the slap there? <laughs> a little bit. He was like floating, shroomed in two whiffs, half tilt, and then he just went in randomly. Sometimes you just hit him with it, you know? We, we can talk about the nuance all day, but, you know, sometimes. All right. Which one is going for the up tilt? Unconventional. Okay. Woo! Dash attack, two dash attack. Gets down smash, reading him coming back. Bladewise does that a lot. Kind of reads the uh, the falling movement of Sheik. I think that's just a normal thing to do in general against Sheik. Oh, good tech, kinda. No. But because it's similar to how Marth has to do yeah, the reverse Yeah, he's gotta do the back air. You gotta yeah. act quick out of that if you don't wanna be uh, floating to your doom. Oh, the needle catches the up B. Two, 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 two. Right. Okay, counter hit there. Floats right back around. Nice, nice. I wow. like that. I like that. You know, uh, mixing up your your landings a little bit there. Once yeah. your floats running out, you could choose to just land or do another. Oh, oh no! What? That thirty-seven percent combo from Bladewise was really cool, though. Unfortunately, just kind of slid off. All right, good shield grab. He knows that was a really high bear on shield, not float canceled. Yeah. So he also knows that's the end of the stock. Yes. When she absolutely. grabs you, because she can just up, up bear at certain percentages for sure. Oh my goodness. Doesn't have to bear you if you do it. Down tilt. Interesting. Cool. Cool and fun for all ages. Man, Shroom DI's that one out, but Bladewise still gets Woo! the follow up, and it's even. That was good. I like the down tilt. Down tilt, the sound it makes and the trajectory it sends you make no sense. Strange. To me. Yeah. They're both very strange choices. It's like Roy's uh, slap forward air yeah. sword moves. Doesn't make too much sense. Oh, no. That's not a sound oh, designer. Oh, lands and just down smashes. That's a little bit of cheese. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Shroom maybe Double approaching hits. where he can't. Uh, Looking for a roll know, read yeah. or something. I don't know why. Relax there, Bladewise. Okay. Trade. Probably a good trade for Peach oh. at this point. Oh. <laughs> it's hot! Dang! Feeling it, baby! Feeling it! That's crazy. What's up? I think the dare hit because she put his hands up, extending his hurtbox. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just reached into yeah. it. Take me. Take me. Take me away. And take him. He did. Take him to stadium. Okay, game four. Ready. Big trades. Looking for that first opening. Oh man, empty float grab. Yeah, that shield grab was kind of weird by Shroom, but I don't really. It seemed kind of hopeful at best. Oh, okay. Wow. Finagles his way back into center stage somehow. Shroom like sl ever so slightly off on a couple of these moves. Maybe a little flustered. A little nervous. A bit. Thought he had that last game in the bag, but, it, you know, Bladewise coming storming back. The way Bladewise plays also is like very read heavy. And I feel like it I can throw so. someone off if you play against Bladewise. Because it feels like oh. you're being read when it hits. You know what I didn't see until just your now? Mind. What? Bladewise has the shirt that has the pose he was doing in the picture on it. Wait, really? He, yes. <laughs> I cannot believe I just now noticed that. Observant, Mikey, you are. 
All right, we got a tree. And when that happens, you put it's going to be on fire. You put your back to it is what you do. And then you put your back to it. Oh! Forward air up smash. Oh, my God. He's, he's two bank shots in. Tim Duncan. More basketball references. Lud, I got a ton of them in there. Your basketball wizard. I got a ton of them. Some things, you know, don't always work. Oh, my. He did the edge cancel turn up pull. That was so smooth. Good read on the landing. So smooth. Okay, Shroom seems to be favoring the needles now. First stock, he was kind of getting beat up. And now, ever since then, remember that he had needles. Sometimes you forget. You just forget yeah, about your beam. That moves. happens. Maybe even the top players. You're just like, wow, I got this move now, huh? That's in my in my repertoire. Okay. Uh, I know what he was going for there. He's hit it a couple times. Two. 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 Wendy just resetting the situation. Ooh, encroaching with these back airs. Getting the, getting the stock. Wow. Dying at 77? Unfortunate for Peach. Whew. A little two piece there. Kind of just slapped him out of the air. That'll happen to you. If you're in the air, you're liable to get slapped. Oh, oh. that's a shame. The needles threw him off. So really just an, an adaption that Bladewise wasn't able to do from the amount of needles that Shroom started throwing out after stock one. Yeah, unfortunate. Well, just seals it. Shroom moving on. They had a little love triangle there, love uh, love cord. Remember that love oh, cord that happened when they pulled the that cord? That was so sweet. With uh, PPS fat? Yeah. Anyway, 